Pure winter, man. I have to put my phone back into my pocket because my hands are freezing. Ooh. We're back in the car. The journey just started. Not really. So we just stopped to show you what kind of weather we can expect over there. So check this out. Actually nothing new for us. Every time we go somewhere we rarely see sun so it's really not not special but gotta yeah, check it out. We can expect some snow, rain will come in tonight, they say. And yeah, it will be a nice trip again. Good thing about snow is it's easier to track animals which I love to do and over here we can see deer tracks and yeah they're probably from the last night because snow is pretty hard so now we'll continue and no bear tracks yet Right now we're looking for the place to set a campsite and this snow a bit surprised us because I expected some nice leaves for the shelter for the covering the roof and yeah something was being over here but it is how it is and yeah let's try to find some at the ground hopefully somewhere around here in these pine trees okay let's see what we can find so we just found almost perfect place to make shelters you know, make show here you. two lintos one is going to be over there and second one near here over here we're gonna make reflector and light fire in front so now it's 11.15 and we have sunlight until 5 o'clock something like that so we're gonna just start making shelter and we need to prepare a lot of firewood because night will be very cold as you can see the snow around also, you have to use our legs to move the snow because we don't have shovels. And Mr. Frost will be very happy to see this, how we struggle around, but it's fine. And yeah, let's do it. So yeah, eBay shawl, not bad after all. Now you get the point what we're doing here. I'm cleaning just this place behind me and I'm gonna make the raised bed and he's gonna make also the same thing over there. And it won't be too high, something like this. And in front here, we're gonna light fire. After it, I'm gonna put my tarp so that we reduce cutting again 
and cover it with snow for better insulation and also with the spruce with the spruce branches. Shelters are pretty much done. Now the beds are ready and we have to just put the spruce branches over just to have some extra insulation. And uh, yeah, the next job after it, we have to make reflector here, light fire, and then I'm gonna try to make some snowshoes. Okay, let's do it. It'll be very useful later on to make snowshoes because they say that tomorrow is going to be more snow and I'm really getting tired just walking like this in the boots so yeah this is nice and flexible and it will make great snowshoes now I'm searching for the long poles for my shelter and it's very hard to decide what to cut even though here you can see that this tree is fallen and all of this stuff is growing from the fallen tree and yeah we don't want to really cut too much because it's nice nice to see the wounds and the wood and we're choosing like this place here where there are few pieces of trees and then we take one take there take over there not from the one place because that would be horrible Yeah, this, is, this should be fine. We just have to be careful not to hit him in the face, and everything else is going to be fine.
just to move this along here and yeah, I made a few notches over here just for the better grip and I have to try to tie it around So yeah, and I'm gonna finish till the end here, then put two sticks in between and do the same with the other. After it, I'm gonna start the netting. So, one stick is going to be here and the second one over here Now we're gonna tie it up. One more over here. Then we're now to put the net. with these ropes around. I start with the net over here, and I feel some kind of yeah, some kind of feeling like I'm my own grandma and making stuff like this. And it's a bit messy right now, but it will get fine. Now I have to make the fire reflector because. Yeah, check the time. Around two and a half hours of the light. Yeah, so we have to be quick. I'll put this away. Continue later. Let's get the fire going. We're looking for the firewood. I'll tell you what, it's very hard to find anything in the snow. Just trying to find something that's standing which is not too far from our campsite because yeah, we need a lot of firewood for tonight if you want to stay warm I'm looking something yeah, like this on the floor but we need something much thicker and much longer yeah, maybe something around here yeah, I think yeah get through stuff here Okay, let's get something to so. on a burn. That's standing. He has also a new knife, check it out. Hold on. Yeah. Also we're making a lot of noise. Good to stay away from the bears. Timber Good one. My turn
problem with this wood is outside like rock inside it's very crappy I hope it won't be useless yeah. my lovely puko let's get some feather sticks Oh, let's rock. This stuff here, pretty much soaked. And yeah, there was even there were worse situations. So I hope for the best. And it's funny how every time I make some video on my camera, something happened in this moment when I'm lighting the fire. Every time it seems like I'm faking the fire, but. I'm going to show you now that uh, I know how to make fire, I guess. Okay. Bush bark, I love it. Hey, a moment of truth. Usually feather sticks go first, but yeah, they're soaked also, and let's hope for the best. You can see by the smoke how this everything is soaked is crazy. And We're preparing for the dinner. G has some nice meat over here. Check it out, surprise. Also the snowshoe. Yeah, it's getting better and better. My boots are crazy wet. And we are struggling to keep half fire going. We got the shelter from the side. Jeans shelter. Well, well, well. Where do we have it here? By the way, one more would lure from MB knives in family. Let's check it out, the rating the G 
do, there's not aluminum foil <laughs> to keep us warm all night if you get inside of it. Nice and spicy. The most important thing, I forgot my pan. So, for that reason, we have fork stick. Hope it will work. The dinner is getting done. Nice meat after a long day. And right now it's 5.15. Time passed slow. And for all of you that asked for my dog, he is pretty fine. He's again not with us because of his injury and he's back at home with my parents. We're also gonna cook some beans with the sausage and we have a nice tea also. It's very hard to see right now because it's pitch dark. But in the morning you'll see the rest of it. The problem is in these winter days, the days are pretty short. And it's very hard to show everything because we don't have much time till we come here to get in the, in the location because we have to walk for an hour or two. And that's the simple reason Yeah, why we are always in some kind of a rush. As you can see, it's 5 o'clock and it's already dark. That's simply it. Just to give you an inside view of my shelter, my light is up. Snowshoe is getting done. I'm practicing and... Uh, yeah, I'll try to make another run in the morning in case not we'll try these how they work my gear is here because I have this space here just left for the gear I'm below the ground my grandma's custom-made socks also I have these from merino wool and also a sweater here so it shouldn't be so cold tonight after I go to sleep uh, meat is getting done not so bad after all no sign of any animals yet oh. grandma's socks on fell raven trousers I'm also drying out these merino wool socks try not to burn them because they're fast dryers like this jeez already in his bed dude it's six o'clock he doesn't care. Fire is on and we have these logs and we're just gonna pull them inside of the fire. Even though I think it will be as always, we'll get to sleep and, <laughs> and we won't care about fire. The meat is here. Bears are not around here, so we're not afraid of someone getting here also we saw a lot of tracks but only of deer and the wild boars so I'm not that worried actually I'm not worried at all even though I maybe I should be yeah into the long long night 2 a.m. guys we still have a fire. My turn for keep it going. G went to sleep. It's very nice and warm and I slept for around four hours. Nice and cozy except for my nose. I don't think that it's always freezed and everything else. It's very fine, very warm. My feet are so hot. 
that sounds weird, right? Because I placed them in the backpack and I have this my grandma's custom made socks. It's very nice. Now I'm gonna continue with my snowshoe till 4 a.m. Then I'm gonna wake him up to keep the fire going. Okay. 6.30 guys. We started the snow. Can you see it? Yeah, nice layer of snow. We're gonna wait for the light. Then we're gonna pick our stuff, demontage the shelters and go to the car. It's fine now because snow doesn't fall too much. It's just enough to ruin our day and to ruin our drive with the car. And as you can see, shelter is holding pretty fine. Let's wait for the light. Do some walk around. You can see how much snow it fell. More than I thought. Dude. Uh, still falling. Let's wake up the G. We really have to go. G. Wake up. Time to move. Whew. Okay guys, not much time for some cool scenes from over here. Us are you packing up. I'm gonna show you like this with the flashlight. We took everything. G is ready. It's time to go. And yeah, nice a bunch of snow. Ready? Okay. We need to just double check our gear. Most important thing blades. Time to. Ooh. Too bad that I had no time to try snowshoes, but we really don't have time for playing right now. Uh, let's move up. At least five inches of snow fell from last night. Just keep going. We are at the alley right now. Pure winter, man. I have to put my phone back into my pocket because my hands are freezing. So, talk to you later. Whew. We're back in the car. The journey just started. Not really. Oh man, this is so bad. Yeah, that's it guys. I have to help him with the drive and I hope you like the video. This is intense. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you didn't and we'll see you next time. Wish us all the best. If you're watching this video, you're home. So, talk to you later.
Okay, now the hardest part. Now we have to up hill. Just remember that we don't have four wheel drive. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I thought that'd be those ones. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Okay, first one done. Jeez, a driver, man. <laughs> I mean, this was most this day's drive that I so you know we we drove there about 15 minutes till down there and back i think three minutes we were driving like crazy because you can't stop if you stop you're stuck in the snow Whew. that's it now check it out boys thanks again